It had long been sought as a miracle to make deaf people hear and talk. Such story only happens in the Bible. I want to change this. I grew up in a small town in Inner Mongolia, China. There are high mountains and rivers, and lots of coal mines. There were not many lucky kids who could go to university or even dreamed about it. I enrolled on a five-year biomedical engineering course in Beijing. Out of three years, there was an opportunity to study audiology. I'd never heard of it before. The biomedical engineering was promising, as it is full of wonderful applications in medical science, such as MRI, CT imaging, biological system modeling, which are all interesting to me. But I know I would be more excited if I can help the deaf people here again. A choice made that day would decide what I'd been doing for the next eight years. I know I'll be proud of my work, and would help people who most need it. I was also excited about cochlear implant ideas, which can stimulate the auto neurons through electrical stimuli. I always want to make some device which can be directly linked to our neurons. As for me, the neurons were and are still a mystery. And I would get great satisfaction to develop engineering language, to talk to them and make them do the work they should do. There are more than 120 million hearing impaired people. 800,000 are children under six years who have a permanent hearing loss. Many of them were affected by cheap medicine used to treat fever. However, there are only hundreds of registered audiologists in China. The scale of training is still quite small. There was no textbook written in Chinese. We only had some slides made by our teachers, but it was great fun. It was the first time in my life we had more teachers than students. After seeing many deaf children and their desperate parents in tears, I believed my further learning in audiology could help them to reduce their isolation, and they can enjoy the singing of birds or roar of the sea as much as I do. I was determined to study abroad. I first went to Belgium for MSc program, and then to Southampton, UK, for PhD in audiology. My PhD work led to a patent and several publications, which may bring new hope for future cochlear implant users. They will be able to listen comfortably even in noise, a world as beautiful as it should be, a sound world, and I'm looking forward to going back to China to help those. Who need me most?